Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page for beginners in Figma in 2024. Figma, of course, is a powerful design tool that allows you to create a prototype and collaborate on design in real time. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a simple and visually appealing login page using Figma. So follow along as we build a simple yet effective login page. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open a, bra a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section. Here, make sure to type figma.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll find yourself taken to the home screen or main screen of Figma right away. So once you do so, all you need to do is log in into an account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, you'll need to create a new one. So just go and click on login. So log in into an account. If you have one, you can log in using Google. And if you don't have an account, click on get started instead. And you can create an account using Google. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So for me here, I'll just go and log in into my account using Google. I'll choose my account right here. And I should be logged in without any problem. So as you can see, I am logged in into my account now. So here, once you're logged in into that, you'll need uh, if you don't have like already like a, a Figma like projects, uh, maybe you already have Figma project that you just want to add that login page into it. You can just go and access that uh, login page or that project. If you don't have a project yet you'll be basically uh, be able to go and create your own login page on a blank design or a blank project example. If you go here to design file and click on it, for example, choose a team and see there's a plan. If you want to get unlimited projects, unlimited pages and uh, designs so of you uh, and your projects, you have more than three pages, the free plan will not be enough. Uh, I just noticed this AI tool. I don't know if it's helping you create some stuff. As an example, let me just try it here. Uh, creates oh, sorry it's a login as an example so the login. see and click on generate and see that what he will generate I don't know if it will work or not but let's see so as, as you can see wait so yeah so this is just for the shorts example so start display login page is username valid so if yes of course prompts for password if if no, uh, you'll need to display an error message. Uh, and then after that, of course, if the password is correct, it's yes, the redirect to home page. If no, display the error message and go back to prompt to password as an example, as simple as that, as you can see. So yeah, I guess like here is just that for the projects. Of course, you can go and start like uh, with a new whiteboard, for example, and do it by your own or something like that. Or you can simply just go and start creating like pages, for example. So, Instead of uh, that, so I'll just go here and start a new file. Sorry, I opened, yeah. I opened uh, the same board. So I design. So this is just as an example for board for the things. So uh, as we said, uh, as we saw here. So I don't know where. And of course, you can always do, use this. So create a login. Always type that. So login page. And here. An example for the board and this is gonna be for the design so here you'll have to design your login page as example you can start by uh, drawing a circle here this example is gonna be for uh, the, the username and this one as example maybe for the password and as an example just add uh, I don't know rectangle here for register or something like this or login or something like that so as an example here I'll add text which is a username so username then I'll add another another text here which is gonna be password and the last one should be inside this which is gonna be a login of course I can change like the pictures and etc a lot of stuff so I'll just align that here align that here make this in the middle make this a little bit smaller and even put it here let's put it inside of course I'll just 
this is great. Text, I'll just move it in. Oh, yeah, like that. So now, as you can see here, I'll be able to change, as an example, some stuff. Sorry. Of course, you'll be able even to change, like, the colors, as we said before, and change a lot of stuff. So here, as an example, if we go here to this color, we'll be able to change it, like, to black or into blue, maybe, or something like that. Same for this rectangle. As an example, I can make the background, like, a little bit different. Uh, maybe, I don't know, something like that. For this username example, I'll just make it darker a little bit. For the this one also, I'll just make it darker a little bit. For this, I'll try to make the color black or even like red. Then maybe the password also. So here, of course, basically you'll have to design however you want. So once you finish your design, you can even like uh, give it a prototype or something like that. I don't know. Let me just do something like that and. Of course, you'll be able to see the preview uh, on it and see how does it look like. And other than that, sorry. So other than that, you'll be able even to uh, go and add some plugins. If you want to add some plugins, example, into it, you can even create like a login page using some code uh, sections instead of using it or doing it manually. And of course, finally, you'll be able even to use like uh, chat GBT, which is well known as an example as a beginner which will help you a lot for example you can go here chat dot uh, open AI dot com hit the enter button and make sure to simply just try to use chat GBT. so uh, how to create an example a login page in figma basically just follow this step by step guide here if you just get lost in this video or something like that and this uh, like chat GBT will help you and it will explain to you step by step as you can see and if you didn't understand something or something like that you can simply just type it back and he will answer you or ChatGPT will answer you right away so that's gonna be it for me today of course thank you for watching uh, i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye